Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe and join the family. If it's your first time here, you're very, very welcome. We are a very loving family here at um, Jojo's Corner and if it's not your first time here, we love you here and we thank you and I thank you that you're coming back again for another video. And if you're not a first timer but you're not subscribed, Haya, you need to think about your life, oh. You need to think about your life. I mean, I'm gonna give you time that you can now do it. So just click the, su click the subscribe button and yeah, also give me a like. Like, you can even give me a like now before the video is over. Just give me a like button so that other people can also see my content and yeah so that youtube can help me I, I know, so that youtube can push other people to see my content so give me a like button okay sawa thank you i'm not judging you for if you didn't do it um yeah and today i'm gonna tell you about five i think five yeah five things that you can do in dar es salaam Tanzania. I was recently in Dar and I loved the city. I'm not even gonna lie This was my best like Trip ever. I think I love the people. I love the country. Like I just love the vibes there and And I didn't even go to Zanzibar. So I'm kind of like, huh? Why did I not know anything about Tanzania and Tanzanians even so yeah, um if you're going to Tanzania anytime soon or if you are in Dar es Salaam and you probably don't know what to do, these are five simple, very easy things that you can do. If you're only there for literally two days, you can do all these things in one. Or no, maybe two days exactly. So the first thing that you can do in Dar es Salaam is beaches. As in, okay, first of all, I had heard that Tanzania had beaches duh and obviously all we hear about is zanzibar but damn dar also has beaches like i didn't know i mean i knew but it sounded like it was not like a proper beach honestly guys just don't judge me for not doing my research before going okay but anyway dar has beautiful beaches and i'm just gonna tell you about three beaches that you can go to um, so the first beach that is common, it's like in the, if you're in the Masaki area, it's called Coco Beach. Um, it's fairly open. I don't particularly think it's a beach you can go and swim at, even though there's people who do go and swim there. But it's not like the cleanest beach, but it still looks very beautiful. It's like right up along like a highway. I'm going to show it to you maybe in a video. I'm going to be inserting videos. So it's like right on the road and yeah and usually at night it's usually popping because all the street food people are there so you can literally go and have a good time by the beach and have some street food the second beach that i would advise you to go is mbezi mbezi is actually better than coco beach it's cleaner it's more beautiful like it's really beautiful actually when i reached mbezi beach i thought i was in zanzibar i was like wow and everybody was like that's not even the most beautiful beach we have and i'm like wow but this is so beautiful so yeah i'm busy beach and then um other really really nice beaches are in the K kigiamboni area so if you go to kigiamboni I have a video that I shot when I went to one of the beaches there. It's a private beach. It's called Bamba Beach. You can find the video here and you can go and watch beautiful beaches. But even in that whole area, like in Kigiamboni, you can find really beautiful beaches there. Some private, maybe some not. Um, it's up to you to do the research. Um, street food. Hello! street food do i look chubby because girl has eaten so much street food in dar es salaam <laughs> street food is a must in dar like in kigali we don't have street food like we don't it's not a thing here so for me best believe i was looking like a child wanting to eat everything you literally have like fruits being cut on the street like they cut their fruits put it in like little containers they can literally make you a smoothie on the street 
um but my favorite is like the f like fast food or like unhealthy options <laughs> unhealthy options so my favorite was the chips my eye which is the most famous street food there chips my eye mwah, the best thing you can go and eat something else that i really really enjoyed is the lemon chicken hiya first of all another thing that i really love is dar is very very affordable nothing compared to here like it's very affordable so all these options that we've been telling you about are either free or very affordable so street food extremely affordable i think for five five k tanzanian shillings you can eat fries and chicken that's like two dollars <laughs> think about that anyway yeah we love it we love it there oh and chapatis you can easily get chapatis on the street which whether i love their chapatis duh because it's tanzania so yeah um street food is it's by far my favorite thing i think after the beach because i come from a landlocked country we don't know the beach sis we get into countries with a beach and we look like peasants so i'm talking for myself anyway <laughs> so yeah after the beach for me the street food was by far i, I don't think i even wanted to go out because i was really good with street food um so yeah ha yeah yeah this one this one this one Honestly, I didn't know much of this, but had I gone for this specific reason, best believe I would have come home with some serious suitcases. So yeah, shopping. Hey, go and shop in Dar because... So so I went to this market. It's called Ka Kariako. It's probably the biggest market in Dar es Salaam. You can find anything and everything there. It's literally the best market out there. Like you can go and buy anything you need. You do need to be ready for it because who the sun will kick you. Dar es Salaam is very, very hot. So just go prepared. Like it's hot, it's crowded, it's packed. Like, but it's a really nice experience. I really enjoyed it. And I like got deras, which I love. Um, if you don't know what a dera is, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a clip of me wearing a dera, but it's like these big flowy dresses. Uh, for me, that's that's the reason why I had gone to that specific market to get deras. But otherwise, like they're um, they have so many things. Like they have everything. Think anything that you think about, it's there in Kariako. So just go to Kariako. Another place that I would highly, highly recommend for you to go is thrifting. If you are a fan of thrifting, go to Karume. It's called Karume or Karuma. I think it's Karume. Karume Market. Just go there. Hmm. Thrifting is the best. By the way, you guys, if you guys don't know, I'm such a fan of thrifting so yeah that was the best place for me like you go to karume and you get all types of cute little outfits cute little dresses pants anything you think of to be honest like you'll just go and come back with a whole suitcase of clothes so if you're a fan of thrifting go to karume and you'll have your deal done all right option number four another thing that you can go you can do in dar is go out like go out for fun go out to a restaurant um go and try out their food uh i didn't do much of this actually yeah i didn't do much of this but i did go to one of like the famous restaurants that everybody talks about it's like near coco beach it's actually on coco beach i think near coco beach um, it's called Cape Town Fish Market. It definitely matches its like standards. The food is amazing. Like who I had sushi and best believe I loved the food there. Um, another thing I was very surprised that is it was quite affordable, being that it's such a famous place and apparently like it's well known and all that. So yeah i was i was surprised that it was more affordable than anything i would have thought so yeah um cape town fish market go to cape town fish market and th there's plenty of other nice places to go out to samaki samaki is another f like 
popular one although I didn't go there it's quite popular um, yeah there's plenty of nice places for you to go. Alright, so the last thing that I would advise you to do is try out the islands. So Dar actually has some islands that you can visit. If, for example, you cannot for any reason go to Zanzibar, you can definitely get a very fun experience visiting these islands. So one of the islands is called uh, Mbudia, Mbudia Island. It's very easily accessible, it's like a 20k or f I think 20k or 15k Tanzanian shillings boat ride to the island. There's an entrance fee, I'm not very sure what that fee is but it's nothing more than 10k TZ shillings again. Um, yeah, so you just go, you have a good time, you have food, You, the beach is beautiful but unfortunately I didn't get to go to Bumbudia. But I'll definitely go next time. Um, so yeah, Mbudia is very nice. It's like near Mbezi Beach. I think if you go to Mbezi Beach, you can find out all the information on how to go to um, Mbudia. Another island is Bongoyo Island. But for me, I don't know how you get there. But yeah, it's kind of the same vibe as Mbudia. So it's up to you, just kind of research Bongoyo Island or Mbudia and go to any of those two. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you kind of have an idea what you can do in Dar es Salaam if you don't have a lot of time, if you don't have a lot of money, if you're... Maybe these are some of the things that you did not know you could do in Dar. Um, yeah, so... I hope this helped somebody out there. I hope it helped you. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I'm reminding you to give me a very big thumbs up. Just do it. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a like button because YouTube is going to help others see my video and my content. So yeah, thank you so much. Subscribe if you like to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.